hello welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Basha and on this channel we talk all things metal smithing silver smithing and jewelry making and today I'm going to be working with silver clay finally I always wanted to try it but for some reason I felt intimidated perhaps because it's quite expensive and I was always worried I would waste material but <laughs> you can't grow if you don't risk so this time I've decided to go for it and I've already started so I'm very excited to show you what I have so far my, after my first try and then I'll show you a bit more and hopefully if you also wanted to try silver clay, maybe this video will encourage you to do so. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen so many beautiful things. It really inspired me to try it out. I already have so many ideas, combining it with gold leaf, etc. So we'll see how that works. If you're interested, keep watching and let's jump right in. So this is the state of my desk right here. I've purchased a lot of tools <laughs> for working with clay, any type of clay actually. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but I can already see that some of them will be extremely useful. For example, like these with rubber ends. I was using this yesterday for smoothing out the clay, so definitely would recommend this one. But this is what I started with, just some plants, because I think experimenting with plant and leaf imprints is the easiest project but also it looks really nice. The effect is amazing. <laughs> so I was using this little board that I purchased for working with clay and a bit of this paper because they recommend using baking paper, which I didn't have, but I had a little bit of this and it worked perfectly fine. The clay hasn't been sticking to it and I was able to shape it easily. These are my little tries from yesterday. I started yesterday because I know that it takes a little bit to dry the clay before you can fire it and I don't have a dryer here, sorry, hair dryer <laughs> here. So I knew I had to just leave it overnight to make sure it's perfectly dry before I can fire it. So this is the clay I am using, this one. Actually, I purchased several different types, not exactly types, but amounts. I purchased five grams, seven grams and 10 grams because I wanted to make sure that I don't open just one large package and it dries out and I don't know how to resuscitate it. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I can start with smaller amount and then progress and move on to larger amount. So I started with five grams, which I've used Two thirds of it, I would say, for those three little pendants and I still have some left. But a very important thing, remember that it shrinks when you fire it. So it will be a bit larger when you work with it while it's still clay and it's wet. However, once you fire it, it's gonna shrink a bit. I haven't seen it myself yet because we will fire my pendants for the first time together in a second. But yeah, that's what I've been told. That's what I've seen in the videos on YouTube. So it's something to keep in mind. <laughs> so the thing I wanted to try the most with silver clay was imprinting uh, real plants and fresh plants because you can imprint some leaves, for example, dried leaves on silver with rolling mill, but that's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted something a bit different, deeper imprint and something that looks like a fresh plant. So I must admit, I am so happy with how it turned out. What I did, I just rolled a little ball of clay and then I pressed it and created those imprints. It was easier than I anticipated, but at the same time, there were some hiccups 
steps along the way so I had to remake one because my leaf was still wet and when I pressed it I couldn't remove it it was just stuck to the clay too much that trying to remove it I ruined it like completely so remember that your plants need to be dry and when you're pressing don't press too much experiment first Okay, so it's silver on this side, but it looks like it still needs some firing on this side. So I'm going to turn it over and fire it again. It looks like I melted this one a little bit. Okay, so this is something you have to be very careful when doing. Oh dear, I thought I still had some time, but I melted. Hmm. And that's how a day turned out. Honestly, not the best, but not the worst for the very, very first try. <laughs> the first one I would say is the best. And this one is very thin, as you can see. The second one was a bit thicker and I honestly, it would be perfect, but I melted it a little bit, which is such a shame. And the third one is the thickest. I was curious about thickness. And honestly, you can't really see much right now, but I was able to preserve the shape of the leaf the imprint or maybe you can see it a little bit now but I am not entirely happy with it I'll clean it up I'll see what I can do with it but that's how they look like straight after firing it honestly takes moments to fire these <laughs> um, let me know what you think but this one this one is pretty decent, yeah. So luckily I was managing my expectations <laughs> with these because otherwise I would be a little disappointed, but I'm just wondering whether I should try and finish this, especially the one that melted a little bit, or if I should just give it up and recycle. I don't wanna <laughs> recycle, but I'll see how much I can do. I'll see what I can do with them. So I think that's exactly the reason why I haven't started with silver clay earlier, because I was scared of this exact thing happening, <laughs> that I would waste some of the material. But you know what? It's not wasted if you learn something from it. And it's not wasted because I could show this to you. So we could learn something together. <laughs> um, okay, so let me try and fix that. And I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> I just played back the video I recorded just a moment ago. And I've noticed that I had my cinnamon roll all over my face. <laughs> like some toddler. I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna record it again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I finished polishing these and I think, I think I can avoid recycling them. At least two. <laughs> I'm still not sure about the third one. Before I put patina on them to bring out the pattern, I'm actually going to solder on the jump rings because the little hole below is actually not for a jump ring or a bale, it's actually to attach a little stone that I want to be dangling underneath. I'm now making a bale for the pendant and I'm just using a silver wire. Uh, I think this one is one millimeter thick and I want it to be elongated. So I'm actually thinking whether I should put it like this or more like this. <laughs> I think I like this one more than, than this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try with that. <laughs> Here's the effect. I absolutely love it. Obviously it could be better. <laughs> I think the smaller one looks much better. The bigger one, obviously you can see some spots after the bubbles. So I guess that's something I will need to fix going forward. But yeah, I really love how these two turned out. I still haven't finished the last one, the medium one, and I'm still yet to make a decision whether I should recycle it or just finish it as it is. Because honestly, that was my favorite. I thought that this one turned out the best, but I had to ruin it, damn it. <laughs> But let me show you how I'm planning to finish these. Okay, so this is what I would like to do. I would like to add green gemstones, ideally these two turquoise, at the bottom so that they would dangle over here. And I think that would look very nice. <laughs> let me know what you think and stay tuned for the next video about silver clay because in that video I will be experimenting much, much more and trying different projects. But this was just my very first try, which I wanted to share with you. Okay, I need to finish quickly because I'm running out of space on my card. <laughs> it's just flashing zero minutes. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.